हेलो स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द टू कंपोनेंट सिस्टम दैट इज लीड सिल्वर सिस्टम नाउ वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द टू कंपोनेंट सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू कंपाउंड और न्यू फेजेस दिस टू कंपोनेंट इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू कंपाउंड्स ड्यूरिंग द फेज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो हाउ इट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ और ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ थर्ड कंपाउंड from two individual compound during the transformation of phase, one phase to the another phase let us see in most of two component system a chemical reaction occur between their components between the metals or in organic compounds or salts or organic compounds and organic salts thereby forming either intermetallic स्टेबल कंपाउंड वी कैन से एलॉय और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रेटेड सॉल्ट ड्यू टू द रिएक्शन बिटवीन द सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर दीज इंटरमीडिएट कंपाउंड्स कुड हैव आइदर अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू कंपाउंड द कॉम्बिनेशन और कंपोजिशन is may called as congruent composition and this composition or melting of this composition is called as congruent melting point the intermediate compound which melts sharply at definite temperature that means the intermediate compound form at a particular composition this compound is melt sharply at definite temperature and forms a liquid state having same composition as that of solid intermediate compound it is called as congruent composition and the temperature is called as congruent melting point if the intermediate compound decomposes on heating gives one of the solid phase and a solution with different composition then that type of intermediate compound is called as incongruent compound or the temperature at which a one of the solid is form and the solution having different composition the temperature is called as incongruent melting point let us see or clear the concept of congruent composition or congruent melting point or incongruent melting point before go to the incongruent melting point first understand the congruent composition or melting point with the help of phase diagram let us see the formation or compound with a congruent composition or melting point that means a such type of compound is formed or composition is formed which having sharp melting point and have same composition even in solid and liquid state such compound is called as congruent compound or composition or the temperature at which the transformation of congruent composition in solid state into the liquid state with the same percent of composition is called as congruent melting point that means melting point of congruent compound or composition is called as congruent melting point let us understand with the example 
कंसिडर अ जनरल केस ऑफ टू कंपाउंड कंपाउंड एक्स एंड कंपाउंड वाई दिस कंपाउंड अंडर गोज अ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन ड्यूरिंग द फेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड फॉर्म अ न्यू स्टेबल सॉलिड कंपाउंड एक्स वाई राइट द कंपाउंड वन इज एक्स कंपाउंड सेकेंड ओनली वाई ड्यूरिंग द फेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट अंडर गोज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड फॉर्म अ न्यू कंपाउंड इज कॉल्ड एज एक्स वाई फॉर अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग जस्ट वी टेक द जनरल एग्जाम्पल एक्स वाई यूज एक्स वाई एज शोन इन द फेस डायग्राम लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्गुरेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ फेस डायग्राम इफ यू सी द फेस डायग्राम ऑफ टू कंपोनेंट सिस्टम दैट इज देर आर टू वेरिएबल्स टेम्परेचर एंड कंपोजिशन In y-axis there will be temperature, and in x-axis is the molar composition. At LHS side of this graph is hundred percent of x component x, and RHS side is hundred percent y. that means in between there is a mixture of xy composition suppose here is 100% x then 0% y if you move down 90% x 10% y like that if you go from lhs to rh the composition of percent composition of y increases and percent composition of x decreases if you from move from rhs to lhs percentage composition of y decreases and percentage composition of x increases okay this phase diagram having three curves that is this curve is let us understand if, if you consider this point a this a c this is first curve then second point is c p this is second curve or if you consider directly c p d this is second curve and other curve is d y that means this is third curve so let us see these three curves and there will be regions in a phase diagram above this region that x c curve and this type of curve uh, c p d and d y above these three curves there will be a single phase that is liquid phase that means it is a homogeneous mixture of this x and y with different composition right if you see the area region below the x c in this region there will be solid x because in composition x will be large proportion so x along this curve x c there will be equilibrium between solid x and liquid x y this below the curve cp d there will be two phases sorry there will be a one solid that is xy that is formation of new compound in this region there will be new salt is formed during the chemical reaction due to the chemical reaction and the curve yd here is a solid compound of y is equilibrium with liquid mixture of xy okay if you studied this diagram if you see this is pure melting point of 100% of x just like silver right you see here only 100% x so this is melting point of x if you add a percent of y 
in a x the melting point of compound component x will be decreases up to the point c right up to the point c and similarly here is a melting point of y if you add the percent x in a y then melting point of y is decreases up to the point d so these are the two points d and point c is a triple point or we called as eutectic point eutectic point okay and in between there is a new solid form formation of new compound that is xy below this curve is the solid compound and above the curve is the liquid compound that is in the mixture form okay if you move the from x to c if you move if you add 10% of y in a x so composition will be changes the melting point decreases here solid x will be separate out if you move this side the solid x will be form and this side the solution liquid form that is xy again composition will change like that again x will be form then composition again changes at point c if you see at point c there will be two compound is formed that means one is formation of x if you down the temperature that is solid and second will be the formation of xy compound is xy solid that is new compound if you again change the composition then only formation of xy right formation of xy there will be x will be disappear that means only formation of xy again if you move off against the formation of against the formation of xy up to the this point up to the point p up to the point p there will be a equilibrium between liquid mixture and solid compound that means if you move down only formation of x solid and this side is liquid liquid up to this point point c point c we get two solid compounds that is x and xy right if you again change the composition again change the composition this side so we get xy right up to the point this point up to this point so at this point what happen at this point what happen here this is a composition again if you move this side at this point here a point at this temperature if you again temperature increases at this point there will be if you decrease the temperature slight decrease in temperature then you get completely xy that means at this point you directly get xy as a solid there will be no liquid right that means here we get solid of x and liquid here you directly get 
xy solid if you increase the temperature you get xy at same composition xy at same composition understand that means again if you go this side again the formation of solid xy formation then again composition changes if you move again composition change xy in liquid state again change the composition means i'm not uh, properly right I'm not able to write properly suppose you move this side so xy will be solidify and here the liquid composition will changes right again move down again xy form again the solution in this side composition is changes like that at this point there will be formation of again two compound right xy and this side is formation of pure y okay just like at point c if you see along the y d this side along y d here the composition of y is 100% if you change the composition if you add percent x so at this stage at this stage you get a solid y right at this point then here the composition will change then again if you see again solid y will be separate out again composition will change again solid y is change solid y separated then again composition change but at this point d you get two compound that is one solid is y and other is xy two solid will form that means two solid will be form okay understand that melting point of y also decreases at this point right that means the point d at point p is the congruent composition that means whatever the mixture of this compound x and y is the congruent mixture that means at this stage if you decrease the temperature the compound is total compound is solidify right if you increase the temperature above this point total compound is liquefy and at the same composition there will be no change of composition if you compare this point at this point your xy will be precipitate out if you increase the temperature increase the temperature the composition will change that means percent of x and y is changes right here if we decrease the temperature the composition will not change solid will be form if you increase the temperature the whole solid will goes into the liquid state with the same composition but if you compare this point at this stage if you decrease the temperature some of the solid will be precipitate out if you increase the temperature then here the composition will change that means some of the solid is precipitated out other will be in the liquid state here the again composition will change again this will move to there at this point if we compare the xy is separated out if you increase the temperature the composition will change that means again composition will change just like that so this point p is the composition we called as congruent composition and the temperature at which this composition is form is called as congruent melting point melting point of this newly formed compound that is formation of new compound due to the chemical reaction between the component x and component y to form the new solid compound and the melting point of this new solid compound at the particular composition that means the composition if you increase the temperature it completely melt 
and if you decrease the temperature completely solidify but the composition of solid at this point below this point and liquid above this point the composition will be same but this case is not happen along this side or along this side in along this side the solid state composition will be different and the compound in liquid state composition will different that way this is incongruent composition but at point p the composition of solid at this stage and composition of liquid at this above this point is a same because of this this point is called as congruent composition or congruent point and the temperature at which such phenomenon happen that is the compound newly formed compound having same composition in liquid and solid state the temperature at which the composition is formed is called as congruent melting point okay the other will be the same if you see according to phase diagram along this curve two phases are equilibrium the system is monovariant if you go the point c at this point c there will be three phases are in equilibrium that means xy solid x solid and xy liquid that means there will be three phases in equilibrium and according to phase rule the system at this point c is non variant or degree of freedom will be zero similarly similar along this curve there will be two phases are in equilibrium that means along this curve system is mono variant that means you can change one parameter freely at this point d is also triple point or eutectic point at this time point uh, there will be three phases are equilibrium that is two solid xy solid y solid and xy liquid are equilibrium so at this point the system is zero variant or non variant system similarly the point p is called as congruent point or the temperature at which this composition xy solid will be melt is called as congruent melting point it is observed from the above phase diagram it contain four phases out of which three are different solids that are solid x solid y solid compound xy that is newly formed compound and fourth is a liquid phase thus we have three freezing point curve xc yd and cpd on the curve xc the solid x is equilibrium with liquid xy and on the curve yd the solid compound y is in equilibrium with the liquid xy the curve cpd is a freezing point curve here the solid xy is in equilibrium with the liquid xy at different temperature at point p of the curve the solid and liquid phase have the same composition indicates that point p on this composition axis the temperature corresponding to this point p is said to be a congruent melting point or congruent composition of a newly formed compound xy since the phase which are equilibrium at point p are represented by a chemical formula xy therefore this two component system behaves as one component at point p because there will be only two solid that means xy solid and liquid thus the system at point p is non variant right so according to phase rule degree of freedom will be zero that's why at point the system is non variant that is zero degree of freedom in the above this system or point is the congruent melting point of p of the compound xy lies above the melting point temperature of both of your compound xy 
that means formation of this new compound having higher melting point than individual xy compound however the congruent melting point may lies above and below or in between the melting point of pure compounds okay so this is about congruent compound or congruent melting point here we stop the lecture next lecture we will see the incongruent compound and its example thank you